Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video on the Minecraft Modding with Fabric series. In this video, I'll be showing you how to install mods on your computer. Baby, you give me ice and fire. You're giving me wind and rain. You're some kind of butterfly. Alright guys, welcome back. Before we start creating our own mods, I want to show you guys how to install mods from Minecraft on your computer yourself because you may not be familiar with how to do that. So even if you've never actually used mods, I want to show you in this series how to use mods and also how to create them, okay? The first thing that we will be doing is installing and using the fabric installer so that you can start using mods on your computer. The next thing that we'll be doing is installing the fabric API mod, which is helpful for mods that require the fabric API to run. The next thing we'll do is install the mod menu, which is a mod that enables you to see all the mods installed on your game currently, which is very, very helpful as you'll see in a second. And the last thing we'll do is install a fun random fabric mod so we can see uh, what mods can do on our computer, which is really fun as well. All right, so let's get started here. All right, so here we have the download for the fabric installer, which is a tool that will install the fabric loader and enable you to run fabric mods on your computer along with other mods as well. So what we're gonna do is click download. Make sure that you put this exe file somewhere safe because you'll be using this in the future if you ever have to switch versions or update to a different version, okay? I already have mine installed somewhere else, so I just use this one, so click this to open it. The first thing that we want to do is choose the Minecraft version. I'm going to just choose the latest, which is 1.19.3. You can, of course, also use snapshots if you want to, which is very nice. The next thing that you want to do is choose the Fabric Loader version, so essentially the version of Fabric that you want to use, and there's no reason not to use the latest, so we'll use the latest for that. The next thing that we want to do is specify the install location for this, and this will just be in my default Minecraft files location, okay? And what's really cool is if we check this, which is checked by default, it will create a Minecraft launcher profile for us so that we don't really have to do anything or set anything up. It'll do it all for us, and I'll show you that in a second. So click install, and it only takes really a second, and it says Fabric Loader, blah, 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 has been successfully installed. Many mods also require you to put Fabric API into the mods folder. We'll do that in a second. So click OK. You can now close this. And just every time you want to do a different version of Minecraft or something like that, you just come back to here, choose the version that you want, and then it'll set up everything for you, which is very nice. So close this. Now what we want to do is just make sure that the profile was set up. So go back and open Minecraft. So Minecraft Launcher. What you should see here now automatically is a new profile that has been set up that will be the fabric loader. There we go. So the fabric loader, the version 1.19.3, that's the game version. And then it also says the version of fabric loader that we'll be using, which is the latest as well for fabric. So you can customize this if you want to. There's not really a reason to. So you can do edit. It's just showing you all the information here, blah, blah, blah. But anyway, so now let's go ahead and run this. So go back here, click play. And what this will do is simply start your game, your regular Minecraft game, but it's also using the fabric loader behind the scenes so that you can use fabric mods, which is very nice. And here we go, everything started up. It looks basically like a default Minecraft game, except that behind the scenes it's using fabric, like I said before. So nothing else will really be different. Uh, we have to install mods for it to be different, okay? So we can close this for now, and we'll continue by installing a few mods. But before we do that, though, I want to tell you something. Um, there are other Minecraft launchers out there, as you may be aware of. You have the Minecraft launcher itself. You have Multi-MC, which is a recommended launcher for Minecraft mods, apparently. You have CurseForge. You have GD Launcher, AT Launcher, MC Updater, Technic, all those different types of launchers that you might use, but I do not use. Personally, I like using the default Minecraft launcher. So in my videos, that's what I'll be using, and this is what this video is showing, how to install Fabric for the Minecraft launcher, not for any of the other launchers out there, okay? If you are interested in how to do that, then you can check out this link. I'll leave it in the description below and check out a tutorial for that, okay? But anyway, let's continue. So the next thing we're going to do is install the Fabric API mod. It's very highly recommended so that you can use, um, because certain, certain mods rely on this API to do certain things. So you want to make sure that this is installed on your, on, your, uh, on your mods so that those mods will work, okay? So just go here, go to Files, and then just choose the version that you are wanting to support, right? So currently we just installed Fabric for version of Minecraft 1.19.3. So we just want to find that one and then download it. So make sure you download the file rather than opening it up with CurseForge. You can do that if you want to, but I prefer to just download it. So it's actually up here, so just download it. And this is going to download for me now. So now that we have this mod downloaded, what we need to do is install it into our mods folder. And to get to that, we have to get to the Minecraft uh, app data folder. So there's a few ways to do that. The most classic way to do that is to click the Windows key, find the run program, open this up. And then type percent sign app data one word and the percent sign click OK, and then now it'll open up this folder here and you see the dot Minecraft folder. That's the first one for me. So open that up, and then now if you go down here, you see the mods folder. And inside of here, there's no mods, so we have not installed any mods. 
So what we're going to do is just take the file that was just downloaded and move it into that folder. And now all that does is simply installs the Fabric API mod onto our Minecraft installation. So when we start the game back up using the Fabric Loader version or profile, it should have the Fabric API mod installed and working behind the scenes. Another way you can open up the .minecraft folder is by going back to the Fabric installer or if you still have it open. If you just go to select install location, just simply copy this path. And then if you just go up here to your file explorer, paste it in. And that will take you to the same area, okay? That's another way of doing it, a much easier way in my opinion. Another mod that I want you to install right off the bat is the mod menu mod. And this will allow you to see in game all the mods that you have, which is very helpful because sometimes you don't know if it actually installed correctly, if something's gone wrong, blah, blah, blah. So make sure you download this and install it just how we did a second ago with the, with the other mod. So just find the correct version. So I want 1.19.3, so download that. Now I'm gonna go back to my mods folder and simply drag and drop it into there. There we go. So now the mod menu mod should be installed on my computer. So now let's go ahead and start on Minecraft again just to see if it actually works. Make sure you have the fabric loader profile selected, click play. All right, so here's the game started up. We now have a new option, a new button here. It's called mods, so click that. And we can see that our mod menu and mod that we just installed has, is now working. So we can see a list of mods here. So we have the Minecraft base game, which is not really a mod, but I guess you can think of it that way. And then you have mod menu, which is the mod making this happen itself, which is pretty cool. And we also have fabric API. Um, it's not showing up here, but I think if we did everything correctly, it should be working behind the scenes. One of the best things about this though, besides actually being able to see your mods that were installed is being able to have this button here. So you can click this and it'll just open up the folder directly for you. So that's another easy way of getting that open, okay? Real quick, I wanna show you guys where you can find Minecraft mods. The most popular way to get mods in Minecraft is to go to curseforge.com, click Minecraft, and here you can find a bunch of, like thousands and thousands and thousands of Minecraft mod packs and mods. This is definitely the most popular way of finding mods in Minecraft. Uh, so you can, for example, if you want a fabric mod, just go to mods. Then you could look around for different categories here, but if you want a fabric one specifically, you can um, just go down here to fabric, click that. And now it should show you the most popular fabric mods that are available. So this is the website that we've been using so far. So um, yeah, so you might be familiar with that already. Another new website that people use and I think is really nice is called Modrinth. It was recommended to me by some people in the community. And this is a really nice looking website, much better looking than CurseForge in my opinion. So if we just click discover mods, we can see a list very similar to CurseForge, but better looking of all the different mods that we can play with. So if you want to, you can filter by fabric, forge, quilt, and it'll show you all the fabric mods because we just selected fabric, of course. So fabric API itself, sodium, which is kind of cool, I heard. Um, a shaders thing to make your game look better, apparently, I think. And yeah, so this is a place where you can find a bunch of cool fabric mods if you want to play with those and use those on your computer for your game, okay? So I'll leave a link for all of this stuff here in the description below, as I said before. So, yep. All right, so the last thing I want to show you guys is how to install a random mod, a random fabric mod that I found. So it's called Journey Map. Um, it apparently just has real-time mapping in-game or in a web browser as you explore. And I just wanted to show you how to install this and use this just because it's pretty cool. And I just want to give you guys an example of a mod actually working in a game. So click Files. And so for this one, you have they give you uh, a forge and a fabric download. So that's pretty cool. So we're just gonna go ahead and choose the fabric one. So for the right version, of course, so 1.19.3 fabric. So download that and then drag it and drop it into my mods folder. There we go. And now I'm gonna start up my game once again and it should hopefully have this mod installed. Okay, so our game has started up. Now we go to mods and we can see journey map here, which is perfect. So now we know that it worked. So now let's go ahead and join a single player world and just see if it actually works, see what happens. Okay, I'm in the game. Right away you can see that the mod is working. It says press J in the chat and then it has a mini map at the top right, which is very cool. It shows some, uh, looks like it shows animals as little icons, which is nice. So you can find animals more easily now. Um, it shows the terrain, but if we press J, we can see that we have this cool little map here. So as we walk around, it'll add to the map and we can see our world that we've explored so far. So I think that's pretty awesome. Sweet. But yeah, this is an example of a mod that we just installed on our computer. It's a fabric mod. And since we have the fabric loader installed using the fabric installer, we can now use these fabric mods on our computer and with the game that we have. So fabric makes it very easy to get started. Um, fabric again is a set of tools, including the fabric installer, the fabric loader, fabric API and stuff like that. If you didn't know how to install mods, I hope you do now. Hopefully this video is informative to you and thank you for watching. 
All right, so that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. In the description below, I'll leave a link to the code for this episode so you can check it out. You can bookmark it, come back to it later. If you forget any concepts or you just want to review the concepts I taught in this video, I'll mark everything up with comments so you can come back and read the code without having to rewatch the video. Although your reviews are greatly appreciated. So yeah, I'll leave a link for that in the description below, so make sure to check it out. And uh, another thing is I'll leave a link to our Discord server. It's a big community for programmers, so you can ask for help on your programming projects if you're stuck on something, or maybe you can get some new friends. If you don't have any friends, there's lots of people here. It's growing really fast. You can get, uh, you can find lots of people who are passionate about the same things as you. For example, if you like Minecraft uh, spigot development, uh, you can find people, lots of people who like that. If you like C++, if you like Java, if you like web development, it's a really, really big programming community. So uh, feel free to join. There's a link for that in the description below. And the last thing I want to tell you is that if you want to support this channel, you can click the join button below this video and you can join this channel as a member for as low as 99 cents a month and you can cancel at any time. You get some cool perks like early access to all of my new videos, a cool rank on my Discord server like you see right here on the side, YouTube members, and also you get to see yourself on the screen like you see right now. So if that sounds cool to you, feel free to join. If you don't want to, that's fine. If you can't, that's okay too. Um, I really just uh, appreciate you watching the video anyway. And uh, thank you. Thanks a lot. And that's it. So if you like this video, leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. And peace.